you guys and welcome to a new what foodie beauty twitter is saying video i'm also going to give you guys my thoughts on her latest upload about trying to get weight loss surgery in canada let's talk about that first and then let's go see what everybody else is saying i will be adding pictures so you guys get a very clear a very clear picture on what's going on we also have some clips we're going to add in so here's my thoughts okay her cameo promo is terrible and convinced me more than anything that she's getting high again. She shows us what she had for lunch out, which consisted of what appeared to be warmed up canned soup, chicken noodle soup to be exact, and carbs and fried foods with a side of gravy. She has chicken strips and fries and coleslaw, but we can't forget that gravy. How does she think she will ever get approved for weight loss surgery, for weight loss surgery eating like this? I truly don't think she's back in Canada for her health. In Kuwait, she was on death's door, literally on death's doorstep. Her voice was deeper. She barely moved or left the apartment. <laughs> she barely left the floor. Let's just be real here. Like now, she has a pep in her step. She's not even trying those drastic diets anymore. She's back to eating carbs, fried food. I don't know. I truly don't think she's back in Canada for her health. Something just isn't adding up. She does this vlog from her car, which I've seen people speculate on if she's living in it. And we all thought in the last live that she appeared to be parked at the outhouse. So if you guys notice... In the background, it looks like the parking lot she used to hang out in at the outhouse, the tall trees and everything, and then she has something blurred. So, I don't know, it just makes you think. It just makes you think a little bit. And did you happen to notice how swollen her face looks? Like, one side is bigger than the other. I know she's probably not back there for her health, but maybe she should see a dentist. I don't know. I don't know. So she says she's in Canada for her weight loss surgery process and talks about the process from what she says from start to finish. She says it takes a good year and a half, maybe even two years to get approved. And personally, I don't think she will ever get approved, but I'll play along just for fun. She also talks about her clap. I mean, CPAP, CPAP! <laughs> and how it's been to more countries than her haters. Maybe. But I'm also willing to bet it's been around more strange and creepy men than most of your haters as well. She also spits a lot in this vlog and has a horrible cotton mouth, FYI. It's pretty bad. I've seen many people thinking that she has been wheelchair beezing, and that's why she took her little break of four hours. She also yaps about appointments she supposedly has been trying to make as well. I'm not buying it. It seems to me she's been busy eating and on the long road, which she says in this vlog in this video that she might take us on the long road so so i don't know i think maybe she's back to bothering natter she also says she's gonna go live again and i personally feel like she will very soon because all of her sock accounts are encouraging her to so she's gonna listen to herself she's gonna go live <laughs> she also says she has never said anything derogatory or bad about people who get weight loss surgery and she needs proof of that so let me just remind you of how she feels about people who have chosen to change and save their life with weight loss surgery. If you get weight loss surgery, you fucking hate yourself. Weight loss surgery is not natural. It's fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. You're going to cut your stomach so you can stop eating? You need to eat, bitch. You need to eat carbs. That's your fucking problem. You need carbs. You're a fucking bitch. You need carbs. You're a bitch. You need carbs. I'm fucking tired of fucking weight loss surgery. It's a fucking abomination in humanity, actually. It fucking kills people. It causes people to have nutritional deficiencies. It's not natural. You need to fucking just eat natural for a fucking month and you will feel better. Now, a lot of the clips I do find on Twitter, I don't know who the original poster was, but I just want to give credit to whoever clipped those together. Thank you. I also want to say... If you've gotten weight loss surgery, I respect you. You did the work to change your life. You did the work to save your life. You did the work so you can have a life. Do not ever listen to her. Somebody who in a year from now will still be sitting on a floor or driving the long road or doing a Nashi fast food tour run. You did the work and I applaud you. I applaud you. 
Let's move on to Foodie Beauty Twitter. So P.I., who did get her monetization back, by the way, congratulations, P.I., can't say that enough. I am so happy for you. P.I. posted, reality versus fantasy. She reminds me of a chipmunk, like, storing nuts. <laughs> the left is how she really looks, swollen cheek and all. The right one is how TikTok tells her she looks. Queen of WTF said, holy moly, why is the lower half of her face so much larger than the top? Now, one of you guys in the chat said earlier you thought it was lymphedema. It could be. I'm wondering if she has some sort of like mouth infection, a tooth infection. We know she admittedly doesn't take care of her hygiene. She doesn't take care of her teeth at all. And I think if we're going to be on this journey, a dentist needs to be included. We have some Michael Furberger art. So it's foodie on that bench that was about to break right from under her. You guys, by the way, somebody on Facebook pointed out how it looks like she had a little accident and I can't unsee it. <laughs> Anyways, it has a picture of Foodie and the caption says, that feeling when Shady Oaks Retirement Home has a singles night outside a public outhouse. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was hilarious. I love going to Michael Furberger's Twitter. I just do. Mr. Pickle Dickle said, as someone who lives within the Ottawa area, I'm going to take a guess and say she was at one of the stops along the Aviation Parkway, aka Back Road Drives. She liked taking during the Natter arc, just a guess. I already think she's seen him, or she's preparing to see him. If the Gatineau glitter comes back, we know. We just know. All right, you guys, I will keep a lookout for any Foodie Beauty updates. I hope you are loving these videos as much as I'm loving making them. We're still going live. I just want to cater to, like, everybody. I know a lot of people are busy. It's the holidays. They work. They have family. So we'll do lives for the ones that can come hang out and videos for people who just want a short summary update. I'm excited to be back. I'm not monetized again yet. I will be applying on YouTube again um, soonish. So cross your fingers and toes. We'll see what happens. But either way, I'm still here, you guys. I hope you guys are having amazing holidays, however you choose to spend them. I hope you're making amazing memories. And um, I just truly hope this year is special for you. And I hope an amazing new year for all of us. We all deserve it. Some of us have been through the ringer and back. We deserve a happy new year. We just do. <laughs> you guys have a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you, I'm sure, so soon. Keep a lookout for a Taryn Manning update video. I keep trying to get over there. It'll happen one of these days. I'll see you so soon, you guys. And never forget, I'm so proud of you for making positive changes. Bye, everybody.